Well, certainly, as you know, it's a very important event that's occurred here at the ITU and WRC this, this week. It really shows how the international community has come together in response to something the aviation community has known for a very long time, that a majority of the Earth's airspace, over 70% of it, is not tracked by any device, any radar, any type of cap capability. And what we saw here was a response by the world's community to the Malaysia 370 tragedy where they weren't able to find an aircraft because there weren't adequate means for tracking the, the aircraft. So what we see here is an action taken to help prevent that problem from happening again. Well, this is very important because it now paves the way and clears the path for the world's air traffic control authorities to begin using a capability that will begin implement, implementing next year and will be in place by 2017 that will allow an aircraft to be tracked anywhere in the world, provide that information to air traffic controllers to improve the safety and the efficiency of air travel around the world. Well, there's really three main benefits for controlling and monitoring aircraft from satellite. You know, first and foremost, it improves safety. Providing controllers with a 100% picture of their airspace allows them to keep aircraft safe as they transit their, their airspace. Second, by providing that capability, the air traffic control authorities can allow for more efficient routes from through their airspace, saving the airlines a significant amount of fuel. And then, of course, once you are reducing the amount of fuel that's being burned by aircraft, you make a significant reduction in carbon emissions by those aircraft. Well, I think this is a very good demonstration on how the intergovernmental regulators such as the ITU and ICAO can come together to address an urgent need. They saw that there was a, a, a need for urgent action to address issues like the tragedy of MH370. They did not sacrifice you know, due diligence and, and prudence in, in allocating their time and resources to addressing it, but they moved very rapidly to come to a conclusion that's really going to benefit global aviation for both safety and efficiency.